So first, we're asked to set up the integral that corresponds to the perimeter of the cardioid r equals 3 plus 3 cosine theta. So this is the graph of our cardioid. So first, we note that a cardioid is drawn once on the interval theta equals 0 to theta equals 2 pi. So, pwede natin gamitin yung interval na yun for our limits of integration. Tapos, kailangan natin yung derivative, so we need to take the derivative of r with respect to theta, and that's given by negative t sine theta. So, pa-plug in lang natin sa arc length formula, which is the integral from 0 to 2 pi ng square root of r squared plus t r over d theta squared. Saksak lang natin yung equations for r, which is 3 plus 3 cosine theta quantity squared, and the equation for d r over d theta, which is negative 3 sine theta quantity squared. And we finally have the integral for the perimeter. Next, we need to set up the definite integral that corresponds to the area of the circle given by r equals 4 sine theta. So note that a circle of this type is drawn exactly once on the interval 0 to pi. So pwede na natin gamitin yung interval na 0 to pi para sa integration. Hence, the area of the circle is just given by 1 half the integral from 0 to pi na 4 sine theta quantity squared d theta. Next, we are asked to set up the integral of the area of the region common to both curves r equals 2 sine theta and r equals 2 cosine theta. So let's call this a and let's call this one b. Kapag gay enough, we have... Katinam natin muna yung points of intersection. Kapag inequate natin si 2 sine theta kay 2 cosine theta, we get sine theta equals cosine theta, which means na theta should be pi over 4 since circles are drawn from 0 to pi lang. And then we can plug pi over 4 in either one of the r's to get r equals square root of 2. So this is the point square root of 2 pi over 4. So paano naman tong isang to? So mapapansin natin na si 2 sine theta nag intersect siya sa pole Pero sa theta equals 0. Because r equals 2 sine 0 is 0. Si r equals 2 cosine theta naman nag intersect sa pole at theta equals pi over 2. Kasi 2 cosine pi over 2 is equal to 0. So, they both intersect the origin but not at the same time or same theta. So, this point here is both 0, 0 and 0 pi over 2. So, mapapansin natin na yung region, pwedeng hatiin dito sa may bandang pi over 4. We have this first part here, let's call that A, and the second part here, let's call that B. Ngayon, si part A, kaya natin i-drawing like this. That is from 0 to pi over 4, following kung paano din drawing yung circle A. Si part B naman, natodrawing natin like this. That is from pi over 4 to pi over 2 naman. Again, following kung paano din na drawing C circle B. And part A and part B will make up yung buong region natin. So, pwede na lang natin kunin yung area ng part A and yung area ng part B, tapos i-add na lang natin. So, first yung area ng part A is just half the integral from 0 to pi over 4 ng 2 sine theta quantity squared d theta. Yung area naman ng part B is just half the integral from pi over 4 to pi over 2 ng 2 cosine theta quantity squared d theta. So, yung area ng buong region is just the sum of the area of part A and part B. So, just copying the area we have above, we have the following sum of integrals. And this now gives us the area of the whole region. So now we're asked to find all the points of intersection of the following curves. r equals 1 plus cosine theta and r equals negative cosine theta. So first, we can start by equating 1 plus cosine theta to negative cosine theta. And then transposing cosine to the left and 1 to the right, we get 2 cosine theta equals negative 1 or 
cosine theta equals negative 1 half. This gives us theta equals 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. Now, computing for r, pwede nyo substitute sa kahit alin dun sa dalawang curve. I chose negative cosine theta and it gives us r equals 1 half. Now, that will be the same for both 2 pi over 3 and 4 pi over 3. So, now we have two points, 1 half 2 pi over 3 and 1 half 4 pi over 3. Kaso, yun lang ba? Kung na natin yung graph, nakikita natin na nag intersect parehong curve sa pole. Kaso, ba't di natin na-compute? Kasi, hindi sabay nangyayari. Yung unang curve, si r equals 1 plus cosine theta, nag intersect siya sa pole at theta equals pi. Meanwhile, si r equals negative cosine theta naman intersects the pole at theta equals pi over 2. So that accounts for 1, 2, 3 points of intersection. This is the point 0, pi, as well as 0, pi over 2. This one is 1 half, 2 pi over 3. And this one is 1 half, 4 pi over 3. Yung dalawang nakuha natin kanina. And that completes all our points of intersection. So first, given the cardioid with equation r equals 1 plus sine theta and the circle with equation r equals 2 sine theta, consider the region r that is inside the cardioid but outside the circle. So, yan, pag ganap. Yan si r. So una, aside from the pole, ano pa raw yung ibang points of intersection ng dalawang curves natin? Next, we are asked to set up the integral that gives the area of our region r. Lastly, we are asked to set up the integral that gives the perimeter of the region R. First, we equate the equations of our two curves, 1 plus sine theta equals 2 sine theta. And then, transposing sine to one side, we get 1 equals sine theta. So, solving for theta, theta is pi over 2. And pi over 2 is not the pole, so ito na hinahanap natin. And then, just plugging pi over 2 back into either one of the R's, you get R theta is 2 pi over 2. As a side note, ano nga bang ganap sa pole? Para siyang yung nangyari kanina na para sila nag-intersect sa pole, pero not at the same time. So, kung mapapansin natin, si 1 plus sine theta, nag intersect siya sa pole when theta equals 3 pi over 2. Kasi sine theta would be equal to negative 1. Meanwhile, si r equals 2 sine theta mag intersect sa pole when theta equals 0 because sine 0 is 0. So like we said, hindi sila sabay nag intersect sa pole. Para naman sa area ng region, mapapansin nyo na yung cardioid, mas malaki siya dun sa circle, bali yung circle nasa loob ng cardioid. So, pwede lang natin ibawas yung area ng circle dun sa area ng buong cardioid. So, yung area ng region is half the integral from 0 to 2 pi ng 1 plus sine theta quantity squared d theta minus 1 half integral from 0 to pi na 2 sine theta squared d theta. Yung 0 to 2 pi dahil si cardioid ay the drawing from 0 to 2 pi and yung 0 to pi naman ay dahil si circle ay the drawing from 0 to pi or circles of this form. So, this gives us the area of the whole region. Lastly, for the perimeter, dahil sa pagkakasetup ng region, mapapansin nyo na yung perimeter ng cardioid, tsaka yung perimeter ng circle, yun na mismo yung bounds ng region natin. So, pwede lang natin silang i-add. And again, for the perimeter, we need to compute for the derivative. So, computing for dr over d theta of our cardioid, we have cosine theta. And dr over d theta of the circle is 2 cosine theta. Finally, the perimeter is the integral from 0 to 2 pi ng square root of 1 plus sine theta quantity squared plus cosine theta quantity squared d theta plus the integral from 0 to pi ng 2 sine theta quantity squared plus 2 cosine theta quantity squared d theta. Again, 0 to 2 pi for the cardioid kasi it's drawn from 0 to 2 pi and 0 to pi for the circle. Since circles of this form are drawn from 0 to 5, this gives us the perimeter of our region R. Now, let R be the region in the rightmost petal of the rows with equation 
r equals to cosine 2 theta and outside the circle, r equals 1. This is our region r and we are given the point of intersection 1 pi over 6. First, we are asked to set up the integrals that will give the perimeter of r. Next, we're asked to set up the integrals that will give us the area of r. Lastly, we're asked to set up the integrals that will give the area of the region outside the circle but inside the rows. So, ano mapapansin natin na region natin na r is symmetric with respect to the polar axis. Pag hinati sa gitna crosswise, pareho lang yung taas sa baba. So, pwedeng yung kalahati lang yung i-consider natin. So, first, tawagin muna natin yung segment na nasa rows na segment A and yung segment na nasa circle na segment B. So, mapapansin natin na yung segment A is drawn from theta equals 0 to theta equals pi over 6. Similarly, yung segment B nung circle can also be drawn from theta equals 0 to theta equals pi over 6. So, mapapansin natin na yung perimeter ng kalahati ng region is just the sum ng lengths ng segment A at segment B. So, yung perimeter ng buong region is just twice the sum ng length ni A at ni B. So, for each arc length, we need to get the derivative. So, for A, we have the derivative of R with respect to theta is negative 2 sine 2 theta times 2 or negative 4 sine 2 theta. Meanwhile, for B, the derivative of R with respect to theta is just 0. So, finally, the perimeter of a region is just twice the integral from 0 to pi over 6 ng square root of 2 cosine 2 theta quantity squared plus negative 4 sine 2 theta quantity squared d theta plus the integral from 0 to pi over 6 ng square root of 1 squared plus 0 squared d theta following our arc length formula from before. So this gives us the perimeter for our region R. So, para naman sa area ng R, gamitin natin ulit yung fact na yung region natin ay symmetric with respect to the polar axis. So, pwede ulit natin siyang hatiin. So, note na yung rows, drawing natin siya from 0 to pi over 6 like we mentioned kanina. And that part of the rows, yung kaninang segment A, yan yung part na nakakover niya. So, again, that region can be drawn from 0 to pi over 6. Meanwhile, itong part na to ng circle is also drawn from 0 to pi over 6. Parang yung segment P kanina. Let's call this naman region B. Again, it can be drawn from 0 to pi over 6. So, mapapansin natin na yung region A actually, sakop niya si region B. Mas malaki siya kay region B. So, kalahati ng area ng R is just the area of region A minus the area of region B. So, similar to earlier, yung area ng R is just twice the difference between the area of region A and the area of region B. So, ngayon pa plug in lang natin yung equation sa formula ng area for curve A. It's half the integral from 0 to pi over 6 na 2 cosine 2 theta quantity squared t theta. Tapos minus yung area ni curve B, 1 half integral from 0 to pi over 6 na 1 squared t theta. And this gives us our formula for the area of R. Lastly, for the area of the region outside the circle but inside the rows, hindi ba that's just this part and this part and this part and this part. So, it's actually just four times yung original nating region R. And dahil even yung petals nung rows natin, sure tayo na siya ay symmetric with respect to the pole, the pi over 2 axis, and the polar axis. So tawagin lang natin tong bagong region natin na say R star. Then, yung area ni R star is just 4 times the area of R as we said earlier. 
So, we can just multiply by 4 yung nakuha nating integrals for the area of R from letter B. So, that's just 4 times quantity 2 times again quantity 1 half the integral from 0 to pi over 6 na 2 cosine 2 theta quantity squared d theta minus 1 half the integral from 0 to pi over 6 na 1 squared d theta. That gives us the area of R star.